Hey guys, uh, it's me and uh, I'm very very happy to see you. So at last I can reveal everything. Um, I got married. See? See my ring? I got married uh, at the end of October and that's why I was... I wasn't editing videos for so 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 long. You know, wedding is a great 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 day but all the preparation takes so much patience and so much effort that I I couldn't I couldn't like think of anything else I couldn't do anything else except for pre preparing 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 and as we get closer to this day uh, the things we should do like we're multiplying or you know we had more and more things to do as we get closer to the wedding day. But now it's over and as you can see I moved to another apartment, obviously. This is the apartment of my husband. And um, it's not great in terms of my filming place. In, the, in my parents' house I had much uh, better uh, filming place and lighting and everything but well I will show you today the um, nail design that I had um, on my wedding and um, I wasn't the person to uh, draw this design on so I asked my um, I asked uh, the professional to do uh, the nail design for my wedding, but anyways, I liked it very much and uh, I um, decided to recreate it and show you guys. So this is this. Oh no, the lighting. You will see on the pictures. This is kind of a French with gold and um, this is great for the short nails. I had shorter nails that I do, that I do now uh, during my wedding and with uh, this kind of design my nails looked longer really. So I think those of you who prefer or who wear short nails will like uh, the design. Um, I used um, three nail paints to design gold, deeper gold and um, white. Uh, the girl that did the design for me for my wedding used acrylic paints and really 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 fine brush. So uh, her work looked a little bit more neat than my variant but anyways. I hope you will like it and I stop talking, enjoy the tutorial and I'll see you soon. So, as always, I'm taking my base coat product. Today it's not MAC, it's another brand. So, you add your base coat and let it dry. It will be dry in as soon as my base coat is dry, I'm taking my uh, golden nail paint or nail polish with a thin brush. You can take regular nail polish and just uh, a thin nail or cosmetic brush. And I'm gonna randomly place stripes, lines uh, to the second half of my nail. By second half I mean this half that is closer to the tip of your nail. So the idea is to leave here um, in the middle when where you kind of start your lines. Um, you should leave an even application. I mean <laughs> one line is longer, another line is shorter. So. 
in the end you're gonna get like uneven mm, part here and that's that's what we want because it's part of the design and here uh, at the tip of your nail you should not leave any gaps you should paint the whole tip of your nail gold all right so done with this color now I'm taking the deeper shade of um, of gold just to add a little bit uh, more dimension to the design it's not gonna help much with the dimension because uh, these nail paints are very sheer but anyways okay so the same idea absolutely the same you can even do shorter strokes with the second shade okay in this nail you absolutely don't have to be precise and this is what I what I like about this design it's very pretty and you don't have to be precise okay now let it dry and uh, I'll show you what we're gonna do next so now it's the most interesting part and I zoomed in a little bit I hope my camera will focus uh, now I take the matte black oh sorry matte white nail paint and basically I'm gonna do the same I'm gonna add uh, the lines to my to the tip of my nail I'm gonna start a little bit further than I started gold because I want uh, this gold to show through and uh, because white is uh, will be like more visible on your nails you want to be more precise and you want to try to make your lines more sharp so I'm gonna add shorter strokes uh, to the middle of my nail and longer strokes to the sides of the nail like for example you see here if my camera will focus no it doesn't want to focus but I guess you understand the idea so here you have longer strokes and in the center you have shorter strokes so let's start you wanna like do it a little bit more slowly okay so longer lines here and shorter here and the very tip of your nail again you wanna color completely with the white color you don't wanna see any gaps here at the very tip of your nails you only wanna see them where they start these lines I hope you understand the idea okay and now because I love shimmer I'm gonna take this my favorite transparent 3d nail shimmer and add it to the tip of my nail where the white is I didn't have shimmer um, on my wedding but I want to add it today, see? Alright, so do the same thing on your remaining nail and we will proceed to the next, very last step. Now when the decoration itself uh, is finished and all the coats are dry, the last and very 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 important step is to add the finishing coat to all of your nails. Um, and if it's your wedding you want to 
uh, use some very 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 good product for that because of course you want to look uh, you want that everything looks perfect on your wedding your makeup your nails your dress your shoes whatever so uh, to make sure that nothing will be messed up with your nails you should finish your manicure with some very very good finishing coat okay now let everything dry and um, good luck <laughs>